Now, real-time monitoring of Cubase VST effect in Cubase. How do you do this? How does it happen? For example, you have this channel and then you want to have the effect, your audio effect on this channel, for example, in the set. From down here, you put some a number of audio channel, audio inputs effect. You want to a situation where before you start to record, you want to hear how it sounds. You want to hear the effect, for example, is the, the amount of delay or reverb or the equalizers or compression. You want to hear how it sounds before you start to record. Now, if this is what you want to achieve with a door like the Cubase, this is very possible. All right. How do you do this, guys? Now, straight ahead, this is here. Let's put a number of insert. For example, let's look for a reverb. Go down here in my own suits. I have this reverb number of them let's just say which of them you can i know you're looking at them right away let's say smart reverb for example all right we have a smart reverb uh, right there on that channel okay we can look for a default okay let's look at a default have a reverb now what else you want to add what's about effects you want lay compression uh Example dynamics, just use a um, CLA2 mono. That's from Wave. You have that on that channel, right? Okay, guys, we have a number of effects there. You can put a delay, like a H delay, for example. I just want, I don't know, just fiddling with some effect so we can check out how it's going to sound on our audio input. Uh, what's our delay? Have we passed it? D, we have the delay. All right, we have delay here. Now, let's look for the H delay, one of my favorite. Now, you have the H delay. All right, guys. So, let's see. Now that I'm speaking, how do we have these delay effects, the reverb play through? without us recording on this channel. Look at the channel, nothing is happening here. The first thing first, make sure once you have them in your insert, come here and make sure it is amped, okay? When I say amped, you prepare it for recording, record enable, all right? Once you have done that, and then you come straight here. This is a monitor button. When you click on this monitor button, all right? Whatever it is you're doing on this channel, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You can monitor right away. Okay, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> do a number of... Um, once I toggle on this monitor, okay, on this very channel, I'll just play around with anything like a song. Hello, 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 hello. You get that? Hello, hello, how you doing? Now... Let's uh, disable a number of them and leave uh, maybe the, the reverb alone. Let's take away the delay. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, Hello how, how you doing? Do 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 All right. That way you can monitor what exactly is going on on that channel. You can decide to set it the way you want. Now that's how to get it ready. So you, without you recording anything yet, you can hear how it's going to sound. If it's horrible or if it's sounding good or bad, you already know. So you can go to your settings, for example, and start to adjust just the way you want it. All right. If it gives you a lot of feedback, you don't like how it sounds in your speaker, you can adjust them first in first and then you start to record because that's how it's going to sound when you're done recording guys i want to believe this video was helpful in a way you like comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos remember you be the extraordinary